You will be amazed by the story of a young man that struggled with an addiction to alcohol, but defeated the odds and became an NFL star. Nikola Jokic is not the only Serbian making history in sports. Max Crosby is making a mark of his own. The edgy player played through his second season with a broken hand and torn labrum, and it is safe to say that he has overcome more than most, and his work ethic and toughness are second to none. But if he never got the help he needed, we may have never known this special person. On August 22nd, 1997, Vera Crosby gave birth to her son. He was a rather large baby, weighing in at 11 pounds 9 ounces, which made his mother name him Max with two X's because he was a giant to birth. Crosby was born in Michigan, but his family moved to Texas when he was in middle school. He grew up with brothers, which nurtured his competitive spirit. Growing up in his older brother's shadow was tough on Max. His brother was tall, skinny, and handsome, while Max was the chubby and red-headed middle child. It caused him to be mad and made him want to fit in. He was ranked as a two-star athlete coming out of Colleyville Heritage High School. He was offered one scholarship from Eastern Michigan. The slim kid from Colleyville, Texas did not have a promising start to his football career. The chances of making it to the NFL were slim, to say the least. But Max pressed on to reach his goal. His agent, CJ LaBoy, shares his first experience with Max. He said, The very first time I met him, he looked dead in my eyes without any hesitation and said, I'm going to be one of the best players in the league, LaBoy related. I remember walking out of there and being like, this kid is a little crazy, but at the same time, his confidence is undeniable. He totaled 162 tackles, 20 sacks, 41 tackles for loss, one interception, and eight forced fumbles in his three years of play at Eastern. Playing at a small school compared to the big ones did not help his chances of being drafted high. Before the draft, NFL.com ranked Max as an average backup or special teamer. The scouting report by Lance Zierlein stated that Max is a developmental, long-limbed defensive end who needs a year or two of bulking up before he's ready to see the field. He's long and flexible and will flash on tape as both a runner and run defender, and those traits could outweigh his poor contact balance and play strength for some teams. If he grows into his gangly frame, Crosby offers a higher ceiling than some day three prospects. Matt Miller from Bleacher Report said that his play strength is way below average, will be tagged as a developmental project over immediate contributor. He further said that he offers a black canvas for NFL teams to develop, but because of that, he will need one or two seasons of work from coaches and the strength staff. His long build and lean frame offer room for added strength, which is what teams will want. If he can realize his potential, Crosby has future starter tools. Stop it. Unable to play with functional balance and body control. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Running backs and quarterbacks break from his clutches. <laughs> I highly disagree with this. On April 27th, 2019, Max Crosby was drafted by the Oakland Raiders with the 106 overall pick in the fourth round of the 2019 NFL Draft. Rewinding back to the season before, on September 1st, 2018, Raider fans were flabbergasted by headlines of Khalil Mack being traded to the Chicago Bears for a haul of draft picks. Cornerstone defensive players do not grow on trees, and the Raiders have not had many in a dreadful drought since their last visit to the Super Bowl in 2002. The funny thing was they lost to John Gruden and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Fast forward to the time of the Mack trade, John Gruden was brought back to the organization by Mark Davis. Khalil finished the fourth year of his rookie deal and never showed up to the team facilities in a holdout because he wanted a new contract. Max's departure left a gaping hole in the defense. But upon Max Crosby's arrival and after completing his first season in silver and black, fans quickly found hope. Max made the loss of Khalil Mack feel less painful because he showed promise and played with a giant chip on his shoulder. But was he just a one and done player? He totaled 47 tackles, 16 TFLs, four forced fumbles, and 10 sacks. Remind you that Khalil Mack had four sacks in his rookie season. Max was dominant. But going to clubs, partying, and getting hungover were holding him back. He has admitted to these struggles not only in college, but even up to the time of playing in Vegas. Rachel Washburn, now Mrs. Crosby, was pivotal to Max's success. He gives her a lot of credit for changing the direction of his future. She supported him through college by working a job, paying bills, prepping his meals, and supporting him mentally. It was in Las Vegas that Max had the climax of drinking alcohol. He knew that he needed help and that if he neglected the problem further, he could hurt not only himself but his family legacy. He was running on fumes and knew deep down that he wasn't the best that he could be, and it wasn't going to last much longer. He entered rehab in March 2020 with the help of Rachel and his dear friend Scotty. The move has proven to be life-changing for Max. He took a step of maturity that will impact his family for the better. If you struggle with addiction, please seek help and be the change for those around you. Max humbled himself and took a leap of faith to get his life in order. You can too. If his rookie season wasn't good enough, in year two, Crosby statistically looked to regress, totaling 39 tackles, 14 TFLs, and seven sacks. But the man accomplished that playing a full 16 game season with a broken hand and torn labrum. Who else do you know that played with this type of toughness? 
Now you know why they call him Mad Max. He has another name that was given to him by a highly respected football analyst, Brian Baldinger. The Condor is obsessed with the process of becoming the best player he can be. Every single rep means the world to him. He takes it personal that he doesn't get the respect of being the best at his position. In year three, Crosby totaled 56 tackles, 13 TFLs, 30 quarterback hits, and eight sacks. He played all 17 games. He anchored the defense and contributed greatly to helping his team make the playoffs. He was one of the constants in a season of chaos and turmoil, maybe one of the most chaotic seasons in NFL history, in which John Gruden was kicked out of the league for emails that were leaked and exposed Gruden using foolish and unmentionable language. And even worse, teammate Henry Ruggs was the cause of a car accident under the influence of alcohol, which resulted in taking the life of Tina Tintor and her pop. Rest in peace. What a contrasting situation, one in which we can learn from. Max took accountability for his actions and failures with alcohol and got the help he needed. But sadly, his teammate ventured into the dangerous territory of drinking, and it hurt others around him greatly. In year four, Max took his game to another level, totaling 89 tackles, 22 TFLs, 36 quarterback hits, three forced fumbles, and 12 and a half sacks. He played over 1,100 snaps. The Condor is perfecting his craft. More importantly, during the bye week of that season on October 13th, 2022, Ella Crosby was born. A beautiful baby girl can be added to Max's list of accomplishments. She can be proud of her father for who he is chasing to become. Greatness is in the eyesight of the Condor. Max is the epitome of a raider. He signed his contract on March 11, 2022, which happened to be the two-year anniversary of becoming sober. Crosby signed a four-year, $94 million contract extension. An incredible start for the beginning of his career. Crosby believes that he's the best at his position, period. But he has also admitted to knowing that he is not the best of himself as a player. He knows he can be even better, and with many in the league singing the praises of Nick Bosa, TJ Watt, Miles Garrett, Micah Parsons, and Von Miller, it only drives him further to make his dominance as the best defensive player more obvious. So if you thought you saw the best of Max Crosby, stay tuned for the upcoming seasons. This man will continue to put the league on notice, and more impressively, he has been doing it with little to no help. The Raiders have been trash on the defensive side of the ball for far too long. This year could be different though. Dave Ziegler and the front office drafted freak prospect Tyree Wilson from Texas Tech in the first round of the 2023 NFL Draft. If Wilson can be what scouts projected him to be, it would help Max take on fewer double and triple teams. Most of the draft picks from the draft were on defense. Ziegler also added veteran defensive backs, defensive tackles, and Robert Spillane at linebacker to shore up the plague defense. It is safe to say there will be far more competition on defense in 2023. Will it be enough to launch the Raiders into top 10 territory? We can only wait to find out. But one thing for certain is that Max Crosby will be the cornerstone and prove that he's the best defensive player in the league. You can't name many other players as dedicated as Max. 1,100 snaps of constant force shows for it. Other players are taking notice of it. Last year, he was ranked as the 59th best player in the NFL's top 100, but we can expect that ranking to rise up even more. Chandler Jones and Tyree Wilson are great second and third supporting rushers. We can't wait to see what Mad Max will accomplish this year. If you want to watch more content of your favorite players, please comment on who you want us to do next. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us with the algorithm. Thank you for watching The Halftime Show.